how will you serve the world? What do they need that your talent can provide? So the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. for a quick little walk today. It's a nice little park that's right next to the apartment where I live. This will help get the blood going. I'm listening to some podcasts. Right now I'm listening to Jim Quick, quickbrain.com. You should check it out. It's pretty cool and it's K-W-I-K, not Q-U-I-C-K. Hey, what's up, Ryan here. And today we're gonna to talk about something that might be a new concept to you, but it is a life-changing one if you can embrace it. And that concept is that you are a consultant. Now, before you call me some crazy person, Ryan, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm not a consultant. Actually, yes, you are. Let's take a look at the definition of what exactly a consultant is. A consultant is a person who provides expert advice in a particular subject matter or area of expertise. I think we can all say we do that, don't we? You are a consultant, and one of the things that will change the way you approach your work and your life is if you embrace that simple fact. And here's why. If you really stop and think about what companies pay consultants for, in addition to their advice, is the results that come along with that advice. Results such as increased revenue, faster processing times, being more efficient, taking waste out of processes, reducing inventory, basically anything that makes a company perform better, faster, more efficiently. And I think if you really stop and you look at what you do for a living, you contribute in that same exact way. And the reason you do is because you are a consultant. Regardless of what department or organization you work in, you use your skills and your trades every single day to do something that improves your business in one way or another. And it doesn't matter where you work. There's a metric or goals or things that you're held accountable to that if you hit those goals and you meet your metrics, you improve the company in some way. And another way that I like to think of it is really what you are is a business of one. And as a business of one, your job is to sell your skills, your trades, your values to a company, hopefully to the highest bidding company, so that you can perform a job and make them more efficient by giving them your expert advice on your particular subject matter area. And as a business of one, as a consultant, one of the things that's going to help you secure a long-term, hopefully long-term, contract with a corporation or a business is your brand, your personal brand and your digital brand. This is why the discussion from yesterday's vlog is so important because knowing and understanding your brand is the key to being able to utilize your strengths, your skills, and your natural traits in order for you to secure your long-term contracts. Now, another thing that's important that you need to think about too is a phrase that continues to come up over and over and over again on my podcast. And usually it's reserved for a business, but since we're businesses of one, I want you to think about this in the context of you and your career. And that phrase is know, like, and trust. The essential premise behind know, like, and trust is that for you and I to purchase from a business, we need to know, like, and trust that business. Well, the same is true for you when it comes to your career and for a company who's hiring for a specific skill set or expertise. They need to know, like, and trust you. If they can do that, you become credible. And when you become credible, you're believable and trustworthy. The more a company knows about you, the more opportunity they have to like you and eventually come to the point where they trust what you have to say and the expertise that you bring to your particular position. That's why personal branding and digital branding is so important today and having your own website, being able to create content around your expertise and putting out your thought leadership so people understand how you think, how you act, what your opinion is on your particular area of expertise. Those are the things that make companies gravitate towards you and make them believe that you can do the job and use your skills and traits to help them improve in some specific area. So I want you to take some time and think about that. 
you are a consultant, you are a business of one, and the more that you can wrap your head around that idea, that thought process, the better off you're gonna be in your career. You're gonna become more believable, more credible, and you'll be able to get hired for those longer term contracts, which we all seek. That'll wrap us up for today. I've been Ryan, and I'm out.